Jürgen Rasmussen has been CEO at Carlsberg since 2007. And he joins us live from Copenhagen. Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. Now, how do you regret the strategy that you've had in Russia so far? Your shares are significantly down. You haven't been able really to pass on those price rises. Are you looking at expansion elsewhere or do you think that Russia can still turn around? We still look at Russia being one of the very attractive beer markets in the world. And uh, no, I don't think if we look back on what we have done in terms of strategy, I think we, I'm sure we can improve in some places, but overall got the strategy right. We did implement price increases following this 200% tax increase, and we put it all through to the consumer in different stages, like did the rest of the market except one of our competitors. And we all suffer, I think, as a category from those big increases driven by tax increases because the consumer has still not adjusted to this higher prices in beer being 30% up compared yeah. to 18 months ago. And that's really why the market, instead of, as we expected, growing by 2 to 4%, is down by 1%. Yeah. That's a big change but compared Mr. to what we expected earlier. Are you not concerned that actually going forward, Russia is also going to be more difficult because we've had uh, just some laws being passed by President Medvedev to cut a lot of the kiosks for the, the sale of beers, and that's going to impact your bottom line? I must say we do still assume, and it's really supported by a lot of kind of... Uh, historic trend from other spirit markets. Yes, total alcohol consumption should come down in Russia. We also support that and will take all kinds of initiatives together with the government to support that. A lot of that has to be driven by reducing vodka consumption. So mm -hmm. yes, total alcohol needs to come down. But as we've seen in all other spirits markets historically, low alcoholic beverages like yeah. beer, like wine, do take higher and higher share of yeah. time. And therefore, once you yeah. assume now growth in consumption. Do you want to expand in Asia? This is the perfect time to do it because we're seeing these sales fall in Russia. Asia seems to be growing more than any emerging market region. Asia is still a very strong success story in Carlsberg, so is North and Western Europe. So apart from Russia, the rest of the group is really on track, on plan. And Asia, yes, growing rapidly and we are taking share. And apart from growing what we have out there, we also, also look for further opportunities in terms of uh, any acquisition we might uh, be able yeah. to do. Because when we talk acquisition, we so are focused on growth regions primarily. And how much money do have you earmarked for acquisitions and in what specific countries in Asia would you be looking to acquire companies? I don't want to be that specific, but what I can say, compared to two years ago, we have a lot more flexibility because we have deleveraged a lot as a company in terms of acquisition. And uh, we are looking across Asia, but some of the kind of key strategic markets, regions would be Indochina, would be China, would be uh, India, but it could be other places as well. We are just opening up in Thailand as well. And we just heard today also that SAB Miller is taking its bid for Foster's Hostile. Would you be interested in getting into the mix or does valuations on that deal seem too expensive? This is of course for Foster's and Australia. As I say, we look across Asia, but Australia has not really been a focus uh, uh, area for us yet. But uh, I don't want to be specific about any specific kind of uh, objects if you're looking or not looking. So, so you don't know if, if you would be interested in, in also joining in the mix or have you not made a decision yet? What, when can you give us an update on, on this deal on Foster's? But as a principle, I would normally never talk about what we're looking at and not looking at uh, and right. in this case. Uh, Mr. Rasmussen, I just wanted to get, you know, really your view on the world economy, because over the last month, we seem to have more and more problems here in Europe. The European leaders can't seem to agree uh, on anything, or at least if they are agreeing, they're not telling us or they're going very slowly. In the U.S., it's not looking much better. And we also have a lot of weakening in some of the emerging markets with China. Are you concerned that we're going to see a global recession and how will that impact your sales? It is concerning, I think, what we're seeing uh, globally uh, in today's world. And certainly, if I look at U.S. and also the uh, European uh, economies, it is concerning. And I think we, we need more kind of decision-making and uh, desire to kind of move on on the political agenda. So, yes, I am concerned. At the same time, uh, in many of our markets, when we talk Asia, I mean, Russia is also a different case, I think. It's mainly the European environment, but I'm concerned uh, if we don't get strong decision making and some clear plans from the uh, political system, it can be uh, turning into something being worse.
Yeah, it's changing times. Jürgen Rasmussen, the CEO there of Carlsberg, thanks so much for your time today.